Hello, welcome to the video on the design process in OSDAG. In the previous video, we looked at the OSDAG graphical user interface. We discussed about the input dock, the output dock, the graphics window and the message box. Here, in this video, we will carry out a design process for a fin plate shear connection. By the end of this video, you will be acquainted with the design process in OSDAG. Open the OSDAG main window. Click on the connection tab. Select the fin plate connection. And then click start at the bottom. Select a workspace for this design. Here, the default OSDAC workspace is selected. You can also change it to another existing folder or create a new one. Click Select Folder to proceed. We will start filling the fields of the input dock for our trial design. At the very top, we can select the type of connectivity from a drop-down menu. By clicking on it, we can see three available options. Column flange to beam web, column web to beam web and beam to beam connectivity. Let us select column flange to beam web connectivity for this example. We can confirm the selected connectivity by looking at the image right below this field. Next, we will specify the inputs one by one. Some of these inputs are mandatory and their fields are labeled with an asterisk at the end. For the column, we have You see 305 cross 305 cross 97 and for the beam we have MB 500. The sections colored in red were part of the 1989 edition of Indian Standard 808 but are not included in the upcoming edition of Indian Standard 808. Let us now specify an ultimate strength of 410 MPA and a yield strength of 250 MPA. However, if we try to enter any value outside the range specified in the Indian standards, say 120 MPA for the ultimate strength, OSDAG will pop up an error indicating the correct range and the relevant Indian Standard Clause. Let us re-enter the ultimate strength as 410 MPA. Now we will design the connection for a factored shear force of 140 kN. Information up till this field is typically available before you try to design any connection. Now we begin with the actual design trial for the fin plate connection. Let us try with a bolt diameter of 12 mm, type HSFG, grade 8.8. .8. Further, we enter a trial plate thickness of 12 mm. The plate height and width are optional. Next, we enter a trial weld thickness of 8 mm. To completely clear the given inputs and message window, we can click on the reset button at the bottom. 
if we miss entering a value for any of the mandatory fields, OSDAG will give a warning. For this, let us leave the vertical shear field blank and click on design. OSDAG gives a message to select the factored shear load. Click OK and enter the value of the shear load as 140. The input fields are cross validated. Options for a trial design parameter are restricted by OSDAG corresponding to the other inputs already entered. For example, the selection of MB500 as the beam section has limited the choice of fin plate thickness as 12 mm and above only. Now all required design inputs have been entered. We will carry out the design by clicking on the design button. OSDAG carries out the design. Note that the graphics window is still blank. The 3D model in OSDAG is displayed only after the completion of a safe design. The message window shows an error in red that the design is not safe. Note that the output dock displays the values of parameters even if the design is not safe so that the user may discern the cause of failure. We can change the font size of the message box by going to the view menu and selecting font. Let us increase the font size to 12. Additionally, you can also change the font and its style. The message window gives an error that the weld thickness is not sufficient. It gives a warning that the minimum weld thickness required is 10 mm and suggests increasing the weld thickness or the length of the weld. You may note that each message has a timestamp associated with it and is color coded according to the message type where orange represents a warning, green represents a suggestion, red represents an error and blue represents debug information. Note that you may still create a design report for such faulty design inputs. Let us now increase the weld thickness to 10 mm and click the design button again. This time the design has been completed successfully. The message window gives the status of the completed design and that the design is safe. The graphics window now shows the 3D model of the designed connection. The output of the design can be accessed through the output dock. You can also save the design inputs. For this, click on the file menu and select save input. Enter the file name and click save. This will be a text file with the extension .osi which can be opened with any text editor. Using this file you will be able to retrieve the saved input later. For retrieving go to the file menu and select load input. Navigate to the appropriate OSI file and select OK. A designer may like to give more detailed inputs to the design process. This can be performed using the design preferences toolbox. For this, go to the edit menu and select design preferences. The design preference fields are filled with default values of our choice. A newcomer to steel connection design can go with these default values, whereas a more experienced user would like to select as per specific design and detailing requirements. In the bold tab, we select 
the bolt hole type as standard and the material grade as 800 MPa. Next, in the weld tab, we select the type of weld as field weld. For now, we leave the detailing and design tab fields with the default values. Click Save. Now we click the design button again. OSDAG will redesign the connection for the saved preferences. You can save the message log by clicking on the Save Messages button on the right side or by going to the File menu and selecting Save Log Messages. We can create a design report by clicking the Create Design Report button at the right bottom corner or by going to the File menu and selecting Create Design Report. The file menu also gives the option to save the 3D CAD model of the design connection in different CAD formats. The CAD model can be imported into most commercial and open source CAD softwares like AutoCAD and FreeCAD. We will discuss the post-processing aspects using the design report and the CAD outputs in detail in the upcoming videos. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let's summarize this video. In this video, we have designed a fin plate shear connection. We have seen how to enter and validate the design inputs. We have also learnt how to design a connection and to arrive at a safe design by referring to the warnings and suggestions in the message box. At the end, we have discussed about how to save the message log, the 3D CAD model and how to create the design report. In the next video, we will discuss about how to set the design preferences in detail. Thank you.